Hey everyone, my name is Alonzo Avila, and welcome back to another episode of DTV. Let's start with a traveling video made by 74 Hacks. Next up, we have some. <laughs> Increasing production value. Increasing production value. Next up, we have some interviews with foreign exchange students by Figo Nguyen. At Derby High School, there are 2,136 students in total. Among them, 12 are foreign exchange students from Brazil, Spain, France, Germany, and Italy. In this video, we'll get to hear their unique perspectives. So let's dive in and see what they have to share. My name is Bruno. Sou brasileiro, é de Minas Gerais, tenho 17. Alright, we did it again. Yeah, we did it again. 
É, meu nome é Bruno, sou brasileiro de Minas Gerais. <risos> meu nome é Bruno, sou brasileiro. Ok, sai over, sai over, sai over. Meu nome é Bruno, sou brasileiro de Minas Gerais, tenho 17 anos e eu sou intercambista aqui nos Estados Unidos. Uh, me chamo João Marco, 17 anos e venho da Itália. Um, olá, me chamo Noa e sou de Espanha. Tchau, sou Viviana e venho da Itália. Eu me chamo Abigail, tenho 17 anos e venho da França. Olá, uh, meu nome é Svea, eu venho da Deutschland e tenho 16 anos. Olá, meu nome é Jordi, sou de Espanha e tenho 16 anos. Uh, hallo, mein Name ist Arthur und ich komme aus Leipzig in Sachsen, Deutschland und ich bin 16 Jahre alt. Ciao, sono Giacomo e vengo dall'Italia. Hallo, ich bin Paul und ich komme aus Norddeutschland. So, in Brasil ich stay the whole, the whole day in just in one class and there is a lot of other difference in the city like with cars and the people too. Yeah, here everything is bigger, like roads are bigger, cars are bigger, stores are bigger. First, like how is divided, like the streets and stuff. In Spain, everything is like closer. And here, if you don't have a car, you cannot go anywhere. <laughs> like we go walking everywhere and we have public transport and it's really easy to go from one place to another. And yeah. The school here is huge respect easily and totally different it's very different uh food yeah. i feel like i have a lot of yeah it's it's a lot different sometimes and the food is very <laughs> different yeah like in general how everything looks everything's bigger here i feel like things are more expensive sometimes yeah i think yeah so. i think here like it's more it's like fast food and stuff i don't yeah. know i feel like it's it depends on the food like the yeah fast food in general is better here but i feel like the normal healthier food is mm. definitely better in europe or in germany and i also tried s'mores here for the first time that was what i've never tried before in many ways i think almost completely different but especially like the school system is completely different than in germany and Here you have like the course system that you choose courses and then you are in these courses. In Germany you have a, like a fixed schedule that you can't really choose. You have like almost 200 classes at every school and in Germany that's way less. For example, you have like three or four different math classes and we have like one. So that's also different. Yeah. Um, one thing that I noticed Uh, first was mm, that you use the car to go everywhere. We go like pretty much anywhere near our like neighborhood mm, by foot. Um, yeah, for me it's the same. In Germany I used to use my bike a lot, but here it's mostly car. And I also noticed some difference in school that here's everything connected with the sport clubs and everything. So this is not usual in Germany. I'm like here. I made some friends here, like Jamarapu, <laughs> so it's going good to me. Yeah, I like it. The school is very big and I like the activity, activities. I really like how big it is. It's confusing, but I like the variety of classes uh, you have. But what I don't like is that the classes are too long. Like they are 84 minutes in Spain, they are 45. So I like the teacher here, they are so friendly and I also like that you have a lot of sports to do after school and one thing that I don't like is the lunch here, I hate it. <laughs> I think it's a large high school but you can do like anything you want, like there are a lot of subjects to choose and it is very good. Yeah. It's a positive thing. Like culinary essentials or photography. Yeah, in general, like all those special subjects and uh, maybe clay. Never seen that in school before. Weightlifting, all those things, yeah. Uh, I like it. It's really big, but I found some friends already and the classes are, well, fun. So, yeah, I like it. 
it's cool. Like we have many uh, opportunities with subjects and stuff. We're not used to that in my country. So I think having all those choices for subjects is a, a very good thing. I really like uh, German literature and sociology, which are both two subjects that I did in back in Italy, but um, we didn't do them the same way. And so we learned with a different approach. And I really like the American teachers approach to students. They're motivating and they are easy going. Um, yeah, I also really like Derby High School so far. I think they have a very good athletic uh, program and I also enjoy like uh, the school activities which they provide for us. I really like subjects as weightlifting and I also like psychology. These are like subjects I couldn't choose in Germany. We only have like these over topics like we wouldn't have weightlifting, we would have like just normal PE and not psychology but biology probably. Uh, so, is there uh, anything that you miss from your whole country? Uh, I think friends and family, like the moments of now. Yeah, family, friend, and, and food too. Yeah, food. I miss pasta a lot. Yeah. yeah I miss rice and beans, and, and that's the stuff. Uh, first of all, I think it's the food because I think we have the best food in all over the world, and also I think party. The party with my friends and go to club. <laughs> yeah, no, I really miss the food. Like here, it's expensive, <laughs> much expensive than in Spain, for example. So yeah, it's something I really miss. And the weather, because here is really humid and I live in the center of Spain and it's really dry. So oh, the food. Yeah. I would say I miss yeah some special foods maybe but other than that not really the same i miss the food and the weather i think in derby it's like more it's hot than spain food and friends and family mostly is there any like specific types of food that you miss uh pretzels because you messed them up yet so. <laughs> the food yeah, I really miss the Italian food, but I really like the American one uh, also. But I'm gonna make Italian food home, so I'm safe. <laughs> like, I've never seen pickles before coming here, uh, and I don't like them. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe like mm, fast foods like Sonic don't exist in Italy, which like they sell so many um, beverages. Uh, we have only McDonald's, Burger King, plain stuff. Um, yeah, of course, I miss my friends and my family. Um, and I also miss like the weather back in Germany. It, it isn't as hot as here, but uh, it's more comfortable if you want to go outside, which we do a lot more often than here. Um, so is there anything that you want to do in America before you go back to your home country? I went to win tournament in the soccer and uh, make a lot of friends, other friends. Yeah, I would, like, I would like to visit other states other than Kansas, like, I don't know, Colorado. And I would like to visit Utah too, because it's underrated. I think I want to experiment like American parties and <laughs> football games with my friends, of course. Yeah, I see you have the cheese shirt on. Did you buy that here? Yeah, I buy here because uh, in Italy I watch like rugby and they have the same rules like in football, so I like it. So I'm a fan of the Kansas Chief and probably also like the Christmas. I don't know. Yeah, Christmas and football <laughs> games. Like we don't have that. Well, we have Christmas, but it's not as big as here, so yeah. Um, make friends, obviously, and going to New York. I'm, I definitely want to go out to prom and football game and all these typical American things that we don't have in Germany. So, yeah, I mean, we don't have Thanksgiving, so maybe that's the thing. And Christmas with all the Christmas lights oh, yeah. and Halloween, Halloween. Like, all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to go to visit like another state or something like that and go to a professional football game. 
Uh, yeah, I would like to go to Washington DC and New York maybe. Yeah, I'm going to show Yeah, I want to experience Christmas here because I know it's more celebrated here than we do. And so uh, I want to see um, all the decorations and neighborhoods with lights and stuff. Um, for me, I definitely want to go to a college football game and to a concert. Like um, I started getting into football last year. I watched it from home, the Sunday games in the NFL and NFL. And then I, I came into watching college football. And I think for what I've seen, the atmosphere there is pretty amazing. So I would love to do that. Next up, we have a library documentary by Luis Aaron Lozano. Um, this is Derby High School's library. Um, we hold a lot of our textbooks in here um, for all subjects from all of your um, science, your math textbooks, algebras, um, your geometries, and then we have uh, a lot of our graphic uh, novels. Um, our, we have a not too bad of a collection of uh, fiction uh, books too. Um, we have um, a decent biography se a selection. We have um, quite an extensive reference section too. Yeah, there's a little bit in here for everyone. Um, we do have a small collection of um, uh, language uh, books in different languages. So for those that are maybe not quite so fluent in the English language, we do have a small collection for those uh, students too. So we like to have a little bit in here for most students. My role as a media clerk, um, which is basically um, making sure that all students are taken care of, um, whether they're checking um, books in or out. Um, we also um, help our technology department. We, we house um, all of our computers in here. And just overseeing the running of this room, basically, um, with any teacher's needs, um, as well, you know, teachers often come in needing teacher's edition books or, you know, maybe they want to use the room and they like to check the room out for a block or two or, you know, we do, we do like to, you know, give this room a lot of use to the building and whoever needs it, so. And now it's time for sports. It's sports time. At the football game last Friday, we demolished Salina South 63-0. Liberty Smith has a highlight reel shot by her and Luis Aaron Lozano. Let's see it. We'll host Bishop Carroll at the Panther Stadium tonight at 7. We hope to see you guys there. Cross Country went to Emporia over the weekend where Piper Hula took 9th place at the Invitational. Our tennis team also went to Emporia on Saturday. Here are the scores. The Lady Panthers golf team finished 5th at the Newton Invitational. Varsity Volleyball won against Salina South in 2 sets. Varsity Soccer lost to Newton. We got 2nd place in the Titan Classic Tournament. Later, they won against Valley Center 4-0. That's it for DTV this week. See you guys next time.